Mm -hmm. So my parents uh, immigrated to Canada from Hong Kong and part of kind of the way our family works is that the, when you have grandkids, the grandparents always take care of them. So when I was young, my grandma took care of me and my little sister and all the other little cousins on my mom's side of the family. So this grandma we called in Cantonese, Apo, so your mom's mom. So um, after school, my Apo would pick me up from elementary school and she would take me home and you know she would make food for us and snacks and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and when I close my eyes and think about you know a place that's outdoors, when I was young, I didn't feel like I had a lot of experience or uh, especially with my family and nature, so to speak. Like sometimes we would go to parks, but I didn't feel like that. That's not the first thing I think of when I close my eyes. When I close my eyes, I think of my grandma. And I think of um, when I was probably like five or six being in her backyard and uh, her in the garden. And this memory actually is one of the first memory, either the first or, yeah, it is the first memory of smell for me. Um, when, the smell of ripe vine tomatoes. Um, and I remember just coming home from school and then I was playing inside the house or something. And my grandma was outside in the garden and I was like, I, I didn't know what a garden was. I didn't know that it was supposed to grow stuff. I didn't know that the stuff you grow is for food. I just like, Grandma, Paul, Paul, where are you? And then I ran down the stairs um, from the patio and I remember her like tending to the tomatoes and then turning around and looking at me. Um, and she's like, oh, come down here and I'll show you what tomatoes are. Um, and I was like kind of, tomatoes, garden, like you can grow stuff in your own house. I'm like, okay, whatever. So walk up there and that's when, because I think it was really hot that day. So I really could smell the tomatoes. Um, and every time, even till this day, even if I'm in the store and I just get a whiff of buying tomatoes, I think of my grandma. Um, and it just, it, like when I think of this moment, I think of like the first word that comes to mind is bliss. Um, you know, the warm sunshine and my grandma's smile and feeling a sense of her teaching me something that I'm just newly discovering and um, the sense of smell and all this. All these things that I think I'm starting to appreciate more as an adult, um, I got to do when I was really young, when I was five with her in, the, in that backyard. And so that, be, beyond what happened after that, I don't really remember, but that kind of moment in the garden, in the sun, being with her in the dirt and smelling those vine tomatoes um, is like a very strong, kind of Kodak in my mind. Yeah. I would want to go back and for it to be sunny and that everything is still the same and, you know, that the garden plot's still on the right side and there's still sticks of wood coming out from the dirt with vine tomatoes growing on them. And, uh, but, you know, I know that there's different people living there now and people move on and this kind of thing. So um, I hope I won't be an emotional train wreck, but I might be. <laughs> yeah. Are you worried? Uh, try not to wear eyeliner today. <laughs> um, I'm not worried. I think I'm just kind of not sure what to expect.